How's it going? I know you. <laughs> normally. I know. Normally. Normally you have a microphone in front of your mouth. I do. You do. <laughs> right, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to come around there one second. Now then, in today's vlog, my friends, well, we've got Simon here, M Guy. <laughs> M Guy Australia. Absolutely. You're, it's weird. So, do you know what? It's actually really weird. I'll, t I'll let you into a little secret. We actually met last night, didn't we? Yeah, we did. And yeah. it's like, I'm looking, I'm thinking, I watch you on YouTube. It's really odd, this. It feels, it, and then you feel a bit starstruck because you think, but I watch you all the time because I have you on my iPad all the time. There's a, that engine is warm coming from down there. Yeah, it is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's a proper engine. It's not it's electric. It's a proper engine, yes. It's right. a V6. Well, in today's vlog, my friends, we're going to spend the day with Simon M. Guy, Australia. And we're going to go for a little drive, for a little spin in your um, open top here. Mm -hmm. We're going to go over the Sydney Harbour Bridge, is we it? We are, we so are. We're gonna just, I don't even know what we're going to do in today's vlog. There might be some fish and chips involved later on. Who knows? Maybe. Because you, you booked a restaurant and uh -huh. you changed it. Well, and I it, know you were like fish and chips, so. Yeah, so it changed, changed into fish. <laughs> there may be some other food in it as well. we'll we shall see. And we don't know what we're going to do today. Well, like we do actually, but we can't say. Do you want right. to try and explain? Um, How can we put we're it? We're going to meet up with another EV skeptic. Okay. And. We'll have a little chat and maybe see, see some EVs, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, we, we'll, we, see. we'll see what happens anyway. We'll see. What, anyway, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, subscribe to this guy. If you don't already know who he is and you like it, or you like or dislike EVs, then where have you been? This guy's world famous for disliking EVs. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, subscribe to both channels. The links are on the end. The links are down below. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. Wow, what a view there of uh, Sydney Harbour Bridge. Right, we're just having a little detour now. Oh my word, you can see the bridge here again. Look at this. Right, I'm just gonna, there's a Tesla pulling up behind us. Yeah. You better move forward a little bit, just in case. Just in case it, just catches, in case fire. it catches fire. <laughs> right, we're gonna have a look at Luna Park. Uh, and Simon's gonna wait here. So uh, let's go and take a look at Luna Park. Wow, <laughs> that's uh, amazing. But the skyline behind me as well, just check this out. Right, back to the car and back on the road with M Guy. Come on, onwards. Wow, what a view. Mm. I tell you what though, the Tesla's gone, <laughs> no fire. Yeah. And if there was, it would have been your fault. Your car would have been the one that set on Ab fire. Absolutely. Right, absolutely. do you want to say the famous word onwards, my friends? Onwards, my friends. Right, so we've just stopped off now. We're gonna have a coffee down, is it the harbour? 
Yeah, this is Sydney Harbour just at the end. Got a nice view apparently. Gonna have a little chat with Simon. A couple of questions, don't worry. <laughs> they're, not, they're not they're not difficult ones after you all right geez. they're not difficult ones but the ones that need to be answered and yes it does involve electric cars <laughs> Wow, it is a warm one today. We were just saying it's uh, we're going to order some breakfast and a little coffee. Um, and we're just saying <clears throat> because it's sunny here, we're going to have one tanned arm and uh, one white arm. So I reckon what we need to do is swap seats halfway through. See, up there for thinking, down there for dancing. Anyway, we're going to have some breakfast. So a little food review for you as well. So we've not only just got EVs, we've got food and a little bit more food later on as well. So uh, this is going to be a good day. And just check the view out and i've got like i say a couple of questions for simon there we'll do a few we'll sprinkle a few questions throughout the day uh, and i've not prepped him for any of the questions so uh it, don't don't worry don't worry you're all right <laughs> right so i've ordered right i've ordered <laughs> i've ordered I'm going all trendy these days. It's not a full English. I've gone for poached egg and avocado on toast. Now I've ordered that pretty much every day that I've been here off camera. I haven't had full English. Uh, and Simon piped up and said when I ordered it, well, I'll let, you, I'll let him tell you. What are you doing? That's a Tesla driver's breakfast. <laughs> well, if it's a Tesla driver's breakfast, I'm guaranteeing that the toast will be burnt. Right, so we're just having a chat. So my impression of um, EV drivers in general, sort of like Tesla drivers as well, although they're kind of a religion to themselves, like I've said before, they are the, um, oh, here we go, coffee. They are the Jehovah's Witnesses uh, of, the EV, <laughs> of the EV world. Um, but in general, I've always said that basically EV drivers, they all, they're all into swinging parties and swapping partners etc and throwing the keys in a in a bowl nobody ever wants the tesla ones though they're, they're always the last to go uh, <laughs> they're, uh they don't have keys <laughs> they don't oh they don't have keys they throw their card into a bowl <laughs> and uh you know then they go down bled with bottoms or in the woods late at night flashing the headlights as i've said you i've done this all before you know but not too much because they want to preserve battery etc and you go around to the house on a sunday and they offer you a little piece of fruit case cake that's where the icing on the edge it's from marks and spencers obviously and the icing on the edge is slightly on the turn it's going yellow uh, and uh, they, they give you a cup of tea and the, the carriage clock is ticking in the background this is my 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 idea of uh, impression of um, EV owners and the room smells it smells slightly of urine tainted, tainted kind of thing uh, from from the cats or the dogs that they've got and um, but anyway that's my impression basically uh, of an uh, of an EV driver so I'm going to just pass you now over to Simon he's got a slightly different um, slightly different uh, idea or <laughs> outlook on what they are yeah well in Sydney it seems that it's mostly the like the young techie types who have got Teslas and EVs uh, very much a younger generation actually not the not the tank tops but um, yeah young people who are really into tech what would like, the job be? Oh, IT 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 or something like that I think they like the fact that it's an iPad on wheels is, yeah. is what what it is what a Tesla is and, and that's that's the kind of people I see um, a lot of Asians over here yeah drive Teslas it's a lot the, the demographic is that um yeah it's very different from your view that's for sure <laughs> time to test the coffee and i've got it's hot i've got sweat dripping down my chest while i'm doing that it is red hot but i'm not moaning because that would be a whinging pom and i'm not a whinging well i am a bit of a whinging pom actually aren't i but I've found less and less to whinge about while I've been over here in Australia because everybody's smiling, everybody seems happy. I've not seen anybody miserable yet. Are there any, here's a question for you. Are there any miserable people other than the ones that are sat inside an electric car? Yeah, look, I think there are some, there's always miserable people everywhere, but 
I think there's less here because the weather's so good and uh, you know it just brings the mood up. People are generally happy here. It's a, it's a really nice place to live. I've been here, you know, moved out from the UK 20, 20 years ago. And um, yeah, I wouldn't go back, I don't think. Wow, here we go. Poached egg and um, avocado on toast. Very pretentious. Oh yes, in fact, this one, this is odd. This is actually still in its uh, skin kind of thing. Skin, is it skin? Yeah, which is odd. Not, not normal. Anyway, I, I, you can have a look. I'm not doing any. I'm not doing any flyovers and music. Just have a. It's po poached egg and avocado on toast. Right, eggs are done perfectly. So uh, I'm going to eat this. Um, Simon's had eggs Benedict, as you saw there on the clip. Um, looks very nice. Just going to enjoy it, have a chat, and taking the. Uh, the harbour here, so uh, we'll see you guys in a minute. <laughs> right, okay, so had my breakfast, left a little bit of toast, I must admit, I'm not really, uh, do you know, with it being warm, I've got to say, you don't really feel like eating a lot, I've hardly eaten while I've been here, I actually have weighed myself and I lost, uh, I've lost nearly a stone since I've been here, which is, which is welcoming, so uh, there we go. it's probably from the, the amount of food that I've not eaten. Anyway, a couple of questions more for Simon. One of them, which is quite interesting, because I'm going to ask him what cars he's got, and I know one of them is a Maserati. Well, I know he's got a Mercedes as well. Um, and he's also got another one, and I know what the third one is as well, but you don't. But the biggest question is, Maserati are allegedly looking at going all electric in the future. Come out, Maserati. If you're watching, oh, you, you, obviously you, your mum must have dropped you on your head. Whoever's thought of that at Maserati only when you were a baby. Do you know what I mean? Uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask Simon now what he thinks of it. A Maserati with no engine and just, a, just a load of AA batteries stuck in it. Have a word with yourself. I think it's absolute madness that these these legendary brands like Alpha and Maserati are going all electric because. The engine is the only thing that makes you want to buy an Alfa or a Maserati, really. And, um, you know, Enzo Ferrari, I always say this. Thank oh, thank you. Carry on, so we're really relaxed. <laughs> Enzo, Enzo Ferrari, you probably know the quote. Yeah. You buy the engine and the car comes free. Yeah. So when Maserati, Alfa, they all go electric, what, what, who cares what kind of electric motor it's got? Who cares what kind of battery it's got? I mean, they're all going to be this essential mush of insipid eco blobs, which are all going to be the same, aren't they? I mean, literally, they're all going to be the same. There's no, there's no soul. There's no differentiating factor, really. Yeah, it's madness. And and interesting, I heard that Mercedes have announced today that they are keeping their internal combustion engines at least past 2030. New story come out today. So I think there's going to be a gradual kind of backtracking of all this kind of, you know, madness of chucking everything out and just going all electric. I think it'll, it'll they'll eventually kind of see the, wake up and smell the coffee. <laughs> so what cars have you got? Uh, so I've got a Maserati Gran Turismo, which is a, a lovely um, four-seater, actually, uh, GT with a Ferrari V8 in it. Very nice Ferrari V8 engine. Same engine, actually, that's used in the, the 430, the F430. Slightly modified, but, but it's, it's basically the same. I've got the SLK, which you've seen, which is a 350, a nice um, V6 in that one. And I've got my, my little Madge, she's called Madge. Um, that's the MG Midget from 1970 um, and that car is still going to be going in 50 years time when most of these current crop of EVs are in, in landfill, I reckon. Now you'd probably get Morag wanting to put an electric engine oh. in your MG. Well, there is a company that does that and it just horrifies me. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of them and I've yeah. heard of me. <laughs> <laughs> they made a little video on me. Oh, did they? Yeah, they're based in Wales. <laughs> All oh, right, yeah. 
Yeah. I've heard of them too, yeah. It's just yeah, sacrilege. Right, well, we're going to drink this coffee and then head off for, for a ride. Hopefully it's a bit entertaining for you because it's not all about electric cars. Throwing a bit of food in there as well and some views and a great view of Sydney Harbour Bridge as well, which was fantastic with the roof down. So uh, stay with us and if you, do, if you do like it, do give us a thumbs up. And don't forget, if you're not already subscribed to this, if you like electric cars or hate electric cars, you're probably already subscribed to it. But if you're not, head over and subscribe. Good coffee. Right, okay, so back to the car. And now we're off to test drive a top secret EV, but we can't tell you what it is. Um, because it's top secret, obviously, and if I told you it wouldn't be top secret. So no cameras allowed, but it um, should be quite interesting. Are you looking forward to it? Kind of. Yeah, yeah kind of. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see. Um, but yeah, not really. Not really, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> That's the answer I was expecting. <laughs> Just trying to be polite. Trying to be polite. Oh, we've got ambulance there. What a beautiful neighbourhood here. Absolutely gorgeous houses. Right. Let's get the roof down. It's very hot today. What degrees is it today? It's about... It's going to be 35 today. 35. Yeah. And it's humid, so if I am a little sweaty, I do apologise. Ah, a Tesla! Yeah, you're all right. You're, further, you're far enough away from it. <laughs> Quick, go around this way. One of us. One of us. Right, okay, so we're pulling into, uh, we're, I can't actually say where we're pulling into, um, however, um, we're not allowed to film there, uh, and we're not allowed to show the car, and uh, we're meeting another YouTuber there, who you might know, I won't mention him just yet, uh, but we can't mention the car or the place, because uh, we've sworn to secrecy and, you know, it's a highly what is it a highly undisclosed location a highly undisclosed <laughs> location so uh, we'll cut off here but don't go anywhere because we can tell you what we think about the car in a bit uh in fact i'll let you tell us what you think about the car oh all right okay yeah i'll leave that one to you so don't go anywhere we'll see you in a minute right i said that we're we're not allowed to see this car but we actually are we've got john cadogan here as well he's going to take it for a drive with us so what is this car that we've actually got behind us here this is the Hyundai Ioniq 5N, which is the N division is kind of like BMW's M division. This is kind of that. It's the first electric car in that stable. And I guess the headline act is 468 or whatever it is kilowatts, which is ridiculous. It's a heavy car, but we're talking about ballpark 220 kilowatts per tonne. That's like supercar territory. It's insane. Well, we're going to take it for a spin. Well, you're going to take it for a spin. And it's got some different noises on it. It's got, I think, supersonic, some kind of Gran Turismo game sound on it. And also like a, a racing car sound. But it's also got gears as well, hasn't it? So... Well, it's got fake gears. Fake gears. So we'll just have to see how that is because philosophically I'm like, eh, it'll all depend on the execution. You're going to do a full test of this on your channel, aren't you? So... Yeah, I'm going to be at Sydney Motorsport Park, which used to be called Eastern Creek. It's a sort of big race circuit in Sydney. I'll be there on Monday and hopefully it won't be another, you know, 35 degree day. So, but if it is, that's a really good test for the endurance. Yeah, it is. So if you want to see more, uh, this channel's on the end, head over, but we're going to hop in the car now and uh, take it for a spin. fixing all the roads out there which really annoys me um, so I have to drive further to find crap roads so that engine noise can you actually that can be increased then can it yep and it can be changed so I'll just dive into so right now it's at 8 we could go a little bit louder in normal mode when you go to end mode it's really loud but yeah you can adjust that or you can have it off and so then it'll just come on when you go to end saying the exterior speakers are running. So put it at Mr. Beerman's preferred volume. 
Right, and so the volume changes with drive modes as well. An electric car with an ice engine. It does sound authentically combustion. And that's even without the gears. So if you now hit that right hand and just turn the gears on for a sec. So you, now you've got the gears and you can just flip through them. Oh. <laughs> end mode on that's even louder than that. It's gonna be a bit louder, yeah. But again, like, you can decide. It's disconcerting when you look from the road to that because the perspective doesn't change with you. <laughs> you can switch that off too. No, I, no, I get that. It's just yeah. an interesting sort of observation about this and that. Okay, here we go. even faster. <laughs> yeah. So you just hit the left end when you want in mode. There is sometimes cops at the top of the next hill, so just keep that in mind. See, call the crackle and pop. Yeah, and it comes from the rear as well, right? So it yeah. sounds quite natural. And what's the beeping noise there? Speed limit information. Ah. Yes, information. The elephant in the room, isn't it? Well, yeah. Well, it, at the moment it seems ridiculously quick but not intimidating. E-shift, I think, makes it that way too, because it's actually down on power a lot of the time, right? Because it's mm. running through gears and building up. Yeah, yeah. It's weird. It's like, remember Night Rider where he had the silent mode? Whoa! Right. That is... Um, that is quick. You didn't go full, full flat to the floor either, did you? No. Yeah. Depends on your motor output to battery ratio. Ooh. Holy, that's deadly, man. That's so, so quick. So that's 440 as well. So if you hit the boost button, you'll get 478. Yeah, because you need that. What, what, what are you thinking? I'm feeling I have to gr grip my stomach when you do that again. Like, like grip my, <laughs> I'm tighten my stomach, abdominals actually. before. <laughs> tighten something else. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's not yeah. it is. 
just yeah. Cars looking at you going, yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt like yeah. it cornered really well. Yeah, the, the rotation, the yawing of the car is um, only partly steering, isn't it? It's, right. Um, There's a lot of big yeah. and stuff going on too. But in the same way, like, you know, rear wheel steering can sometimes feel really forced and artificial. We were conscious that whatever we do, we don't want it to feel like that. We want it to feel intuitive and natural. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't feel crazy. It's just, it's just, there's a, it's got that real active performance car feel about it like and the body is so rigid yeah like, we've done a lot of work there so there's new go. members down here two gears I believe doesn't it that's right um, does this have gears no no so how do the gears work then if it's got yeah a gear shift so it's really torque mapping and profiling the drive as they come out of the motors to right. simulate the gearbox right so that's where yeah as we climb into the rev range and the torque dips off that's following sort of that sawtooth torque curve that you'll see as you're going through gears and obviously that's Engine speed dependent, load dependent, all of that. And all of that's dialed in and tuned into it. So it's not as simple as going, you know, make power cut when I pull this. No, it's actually much more sophisticated and much more complex than that. Oh, it corners really well, actually. It's very smooth. So, familiar face here. You'll know John Cadogan. You've got your own channel, obviously. Very, 
very well respected uh, in the motor industry now. Quick question here. You test drove uh, this new car. What was your, we saw some clips of it there. What did you actually think of it? This is the Ionic 5N. It's my first time. We've only driven it in suburban streets. It's ridiculously fast and extremely capable. The control architecture is very instinctive, like you just get in it and drive it. And it's like putting on a favorite pair of jeans or your slippers or something. It feels right. The fake noise is probably the most contentious aspect of this vehicle. And I would say that supersonic, the jet fighter, top gun, terrain, terrain, pull up, pull up, that's ridiculous. Uh, the PlayStation thing, I suppose if I was 30 years younger and played a lot of video games, eh, but not for me. But it's the, the difference, what, what I'm struggling with is the philosophical disconnection between the f inherent fakeness of it and the really slick execution. Because I hate the philosophy, but I kind of like it. And the acid test for me was driving along, faking it with combustion noise and simulated transmission. And then you turn it off and you feel like you've lost something. So I kind of wish all EVs were like that. And then I might be, you know, slightly less critical of them. I am, I, I'm going to hate myself for saying this, but the engine noise, I, I agree with you with the other two noises, it's just ridiculous. Yeah. But the engine noise, it, it worked. It's kind of clever. And the other thing is, there's, there's good fakes and bad fakes, right? And when you've got an electric car that's faking a transmission, like faking a dual clutch transmission, if the fake is less than perfect, it's time to get the three foot razor blade out and spill a bit of blood on the floor, right? Because that would be well deserved, but in this case, this is not that. It's extremely slick, and I, I, I hate myself for saying it, but kind of like it, and I'd be playing with that a bit. But I think it also highlights one of the inherent deficiencies of EVs generally, which is they're kind of they're quick, they're silent maybe, but deadly or something. But they're somewhat disconnected from the driving process for actual drivers. I think it, do you think it's the future? Well, the future is a big call because no one can see the future, but it's also an extremely expensive device. So the future for me is more in that Japanese K car class of uh, EVs, you know, because yeah. if we're gonna deploy it and actually save the planet, do something worthwhile, we've got to make them affordable and We've got to do a responsible job with the limited Earth's resources we've got. And these kind of things are just going to be toys for rich dudes. Yeah, I, I agree. I think the sound on it, though, is something that other manufacturers should be, you know, bringing into their cars. It's kind of clever. I would have loved to have been at the meetings where they said, hey, we're going to make it sound like an internal combustion car. <laughs> and I'd really want to see the exchange between the pro and anti that camps, because I reckon that would have been priceless if if it's wanting to sound like an internal combustion car it's, is it kind of, is it just pretending to be something that it isn't or it, it just works i don't know from being in the back seat there it just seemed to work philosophically it's absurd and it's easy to have a shot at the philosophy right but it's maybe it is kind of like fake breasts they can be awesome <laughs> <laughs> and on that bombshell, thank you very much. It's a Cheers. pleasure to meet the lady. Thank you, this, brilliant, absolute pleasure. You probably already subscribed to the guy, but I'll put his channel on the end and in the description down below. Right, well, uh, I've got M guy waiting over there, so uh, onwards. <laughs> Right, we're going to wind this video up. Don't worry, uh, if you want to see fish and chips and food, etc., then uh, you can see that on the next one because I'll be with M Guy again. Um, so before we uh, close this off, come on, what's your uh, what's your verdict on it? Um, I, I, similar to what John said, I thought the execution was really impressive, actually. So the sound was really was really well done and even the gear changes was actually I have to say it was really well done um, but at the bottom at the bottom line is that it's still fake it's still fake and and I think that reveals that you know they know that EVs they're lacking engagement there's a lack of engagement with EVs um, that they're trying to put back by 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 making fake sounds and giving you fake gear changes and stuff like that 
So, you know, the question is, where do we go from here? What's the po- what's the po- what's the point? I guess at the bottom at the bottom line. It's what like it's like an evening with Kira Knightley, and she's making a lot of noise, but she's just thinking about knitting. <laughs> <laughs> I actually thought that the 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 engine sound worked. I was yeah. I thought they I thought they implemented it really well. To be fair, agreed, uh, agreed. And I agree. I think I just agree with what what, what you know what John said. But but the performance, the performance was, was too much to handle for most people. It was insanely it, quick. And you know I actually prefer driving a car which is slightly less powerful because then you can enjoy it more. Yeah, you know, because you can push it a little bit harder. Whereas this, you'd be scared to. That was insanely quick, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> anyway, there you go. So uh, you've just seen a, a an EV supercar <laughs> with John Cadogan, M Guy, and the Bike Master. Make sure you join us in the next one. Well, I think we're going for something to eat, aren't we? We are. I'm not sure whether I'll have. Well, I'll probably have to have the fish and chips, won't I? Can't it's it's what I've got to do. <laughs> are you having fish and chips or something else? Fish and, fish and chips. There, I've done. See, best in Sydney. Oh, the oh, now that is a that is a big call. <laughs> right, thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button on this guy, obviously on John, who you probably already subscribed to anyway. If you like EV stuff, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Links in the description below for this guy as well. So head over, show him some love if you're not already subscribed. And, uh, bye bye. Fish and chips then. Fish and chips. Fish and chips. <laughs>